Now to a tragic story, and their bond was sown in a career they shared a passion for. But Hudson Wakise, a GSU officer attached to the Interior Ministry, would end up murdering his wife, Pauline Wakasa, a traffic police officer, in cold blood, and then take his own life. Well, both killings were carried out in front of their two young children. Gina Kirori has more on this disturbing incident that has seen Interior CS Fred Matiangi, to whom the killer cop was attached to, raise concern of the need for more psychological support for officers. This apartment complex in Draraka, Nairobi County, was a scene for the death of 29-year-old Pauline Wakasa and her husband, 33-year-old Hudson Wakise, a general service unit officer attached to the Ministry of Interior. At around 7 p.m., Hudson reportedly made his way to the apartment where Pauline had recently moved into with their children. The couple allegedly parted ways last Sunday after Pauline claimed that she found messages on Hudson's phone which pointed to infidelity on his part. Hudson apparently found Pauline's sister, Gloria Nanjala, at the apartment and was allowed in after he told her he wanted to see their children. At 8 p.m., her sister says, Pauline arrived home from her workstation at Kilimani, where she was employed as a traffic police officer. Then the couple went to the bedroom, where an argument ensued. Minutes later, reports indicate the two would emerge. A bitter-looking Hudson sat on the arm of the sofa, facing Pauline in the sitting room, where their children, her sister, their brother James Sirengo, alongside their house help, were still having their dinner. <laughs> The couple's two children, one age two and the other five years old, were not harmed in the incident but were witnesses to the gory killing. Interior CS, Dr. Fred Matiangi, to whom Hudson is reportedly attached to, has mourned the two officers and called for the need for greater awareness to be brought to the psychological challenges amongst younger officers. The incident still weighing heavily on Pauline's friends, as well as her colleagues from the Kilimani police station, who are still coming to terms with the matter. Gina Kirari, NTV.